I am Adil Kumar sharing with you how to find derivative of a rational function using first principle or difference quotients method. Now this question comes from Victoria who reminds me of my days when we were unnecessarily working hard to find derivatives by this method. Now let's do it once again. If there are some calculations mistakes, then forgive me, but try to understand the concept. So we need to find derivative of function f of x equals to 2 plus 3x divided by 4x squared plus 5x cubed. Now, derivative of the function can be written as limit h approaches 0. And we'll write the difference quotient f of I should write x plus h minus f of x over h, right? So that is the method which we are going to adopt. The function given to us is 2 plus 3x divided by 4x squared plus 5x cubed. So, so it becomes limit h approaches 0. We replace the function with x plus h. So we get 2 plus 3 times x plus h over 4 times x plus h whole square plus 5 times x plus h whole cube minus the function that is 2 plus 3x over 4x square plus 5x cube. Everything divided by h I'll write like this. Okay, So leave some, save some space. Perfect. So I've avoided writing three layers of fractions. So that's a nice way. Okay, so let's continue. So we get limit h approaches zero. Now, as you do with rational functions, we'll take common denominator. So, so the common denominator is is what is all this, right? So that is to say, four times x plus h whole square plus five times x plus h whole cube okay times 4x square plus 5x cube okay. when we multiply it we can always write h in the denominator Correct. so here we'll cross multiply so we get 2 plus 3 times x plus h times all this so let me put this in square brackets, otherwise we might do a mistake. So we get 4x squared plus 5x cubed. Okay. Minus 2 plus 3x, I'm putting this thing in brackets, multiply with all this square brackets. 4 times x plus h whole square plus 5 times x plus h whole cube. Square brackets. So I hope up to now things are clear. Now the only thing which you have to do is open up the numerator, which is huge, simplify, and then get your answer, right? So let's do that. So what we will do here is that uh, we will, okay, so we may have to use two lines here to open this up. So we'll get limit, h approaches zero. So we have to be careful, right? So 1, 2, and we have got 1, 2, 3 terms. So we multiply first by 2. So we get 8x squared plus 2 times 5 as 10x cubed. Now 3x is going to be multiplied with 4x squared and 5x cubed. 3x, okay? So 3 times 4 is 12. And x squared becomes x cubed. 3 times 5 is 15 and x to the power of 4. Now we'll do 3h times all this. So, so that gives us plus 12. 3h times this means x square h and 15. I'll do plus 15. 3 times 5 is 15. x cube h. Right? Now, 
now we have to expand this thing now here remember it is x plus h whole square and x plus h whole cube so so let me rewrite this as as let me write we'll use two lines uh, first let us expand this so we'll write this as let me open this with the first bracket so 4 times 2 8 plus 12 x and now I will expand x plus h whole square. So let me write square brackets for negative sign. So everything inside will be positive. Okay. So x plus h whole square is x square plus 2xh plus h square. And here we get, we are, we are again multiplying 2 plus 3h with 5. So we get plus 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 15x times let me expand this which is x cube plus 3 x square h plus 3 h square x plus h cube okay bracket close so that is how we get all our numerator and now let me write down the denominator as all this right so we have within brackets 4 x plus h whole square plus 5 x plus h whole cube now this gets multiplied by 4 x square plus 5 x cube times h does make sense to you now the question is to simplify the numerator so what we are going to do is we know all the terms without h will get cancelled so let's cancel them so 8x square will get cancelled with 8 times x square. Do you see that? So I'm cancelling this part. 8 times x square. Is that clear to you? Similarly, 10x cube is going to cancel get by 10 times x cube. Okay. 12x cube means it gets cancelled by 12. Now, okay. Because this gets multiplied again with x square. So, so, so there are actually two terms here. Okay, now that's kind of a risky, but I hope you understand. When you multiply by 8 and by 12, you get 12x cubed, so it gets cancelled. So, okay, so that's not a good idea. I guess I should expand it, but if you understand, it's good enough, right? So, we cancel 12x cubed, right? 12 times x squared two times because this gets multiplied with both of them perfect now the next term here is 15 x to the power of 4 so 15 could get multiplied with this also so we give 15 x to the power of 4 so that is why I'm canceling it twice I hope that's clear right well that is all so we actually cancelled all the terms which should have been cancelled after opening these brackets but anyway I avoided one step but I have to move to the next page to to copy from here so let me do that so next page is right there so what we will do is we'll copy what we have got so what we have here is that the derivative f dash x is equal to we cancelled few terms right so we cancelled few terms so I'm just copying those terms which are left so in this list we have 12 x square h so let me write down and then I'll show you so 12 x square h plus 15 x cube h and then we have 8 then minus and within brackets we have 8 I mean this is 8 plus 12 x times times 2 plus I mean 2x h plus h square plus 10 plus 15x times these terms which are 3x square h plus 3 h square x plus h cube 
and everything is being divided by this factor which is 4 x plus h whole square plus 5 x plus h whole cube times 4x square plus 5x cube times h right so let me show you what we get okay it's kind of messy but uh, since uh, we have very limited space I hope it makes sense okay so this bracket close so we cancelled all the terms which did not have uh, which could have been cancelled right so we get all this now what you notice here that these terms when you expand h is going to be common which will get cancelled right so what we finally get here is the derivative equals to 12 x square h plus 15 x cube h minus let's open the bracket so as we open we'll multiply these terms 8 times 2 x h gives us 16 x h 8 times h square gives us minus 8 h square minus 12 times 2 is 24 x square h minus 12 x h square and when you open this you get minus 10 times 3 is 30 so we are multiplying these three terms with 10 30 x square h plus 30 h square x plus 10 h cube now we'll multiply by 15 so we get minus since this is the minus right 45 x cube h and then minus 45 x h square rather x square h square and then minus 15 x h cube so that is a numerator and everything being divided by all this 4 times x plus h whole square plus 5 times x plus h whole cube times 4x square plus 5x cube times h correct okay you have to write limit h approaches 0 So first step is to cancel everything which has h in it, right? And the second step is, once you cancel the h, substitute h equals to 0. So that means the terms which have h square and h cube will automatically become 0. Is that clear to you, right? So, so combining the two steps at this stage, I could write this as, let me rewrite. So I'm avoiding the terms which have higher power of h correct so we know h is approaching uh, 0 right so so we are taking h common so these terms h is common you see everywhere h is common it gets cancelled with this h so we could write this as 12 x square and here we'll write this as plus 15 x cube right because this h gets cancelled and here we get minus 16 x so i hope that's clear now right h h remains and when i substitute h equals to zero that becomes zero so wherever it is h square those terms are neglected you can see like this so we get minus 24 x square that becomes zero so what i'm doing here is all the terms which have higher power of h are being equated to zero right so all these terms are equated to zero perfect so we have already copied this much and then we have minus 30 x square h and then we have minus 45 x cube h now h h cancel because we are canceling this okay uh, that's it divided by all this so once you simplify I think it'll be clear what I'm trying to do now this H also becomes zero so let me write it now for once I should have avoided 
x plus h whole cube 4x square plus 5x cube h h cancels okay so now we can actually substitute h equals to 0 where these terms will be only 4x square plus 5x cube right 4x square plus 5x cube in the denominator perfect and in the numerator what you could do is uh, we will write just the combination of what is left so the highest power is cube so we'll add 15x cube and minus 45 so what you notice here is you get minus 30x cube and the next square terms we have uh, minus 30 minus 24 and plus 24 that means minus 42 x square and the x terms we have only one which is 16 x divided by we get 4 x square plus 5 x cube whole square you get my idea right so I'm not further factoring this out but you could right and uh, write your answer you can also take it this negative as common factor you can take negative as common factor and rewrite this as uh, let's say minus and well x is common and even uh, 4, 4 is not common but 2x you could take common right so you could take 2x common and then write this as since I've taken minus outside we could write this as 15x square and then here it is plus 21x plus 8 uh, because we took x common over 4x square plus 5x cube whole square correct so so that is what you get as your answer so i hope the steps are clear to you only thing is that I avoided few steps in between, especially here. Correct? So finally, once we simplify, we get our answer as minus 2x within brackets 15x squared plus 21x plus 8 divided by 4x squared plus 5x cubed whole square. So I hope the steps are clear. We did rush in between simplifying this portion. You should take your space and time to do it properly, right? But let me summarize the steps which we followed to get to this result. So basically, we applied the difference quotient method, which is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. f of x plus h means replace x with x plus h, right? That's what we did. Now, you need to expand the terms with x plus h whole square and x plus h whole cube you know the expansion which is uh, the term which is x plus h whole square can be written as x square plus 2xh plus h square and x plus h whole cube can be written as uh, I should write a plus h but this could be expanded as a cube which is x cube plus 3x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube, right? So we kind of use this expansion to expand the term uh, x plus h whole square and x plus h whole cube, correct? So that's what we did. Once you expand, you get a lot of terms out of these. All these terms which do not have h really gets cancelled. So we cancel this x squared twice, once being multiplied by 8, the other time being multiplied by 12x. Similarly, we canceled x cubed twice, once when multiplied by 10, second time when multiplied by 15x. We kind of avoided few steps repeating, but you need to write all that. So I hope you get that right. So after doing that, we did another simplification which is kind of non-standard type way of doing which we did here so in this step we involved 2 at 1 cancelling h with since h is there as a common factor all the terms which had h square or h cube 
will be very very small since h is approaching 0 so we kind of made them 0 and we got a simplified version on a numerator you may like to show this in three steps right uh, so that's how we get our solution it is kind of a working solution for you not a very good thing to upload on YouTube so my request to you is once you're done and once you've understood and if not understood write your comments after that I'll kind of delete this video I hope that helps so feel free to share your comments and your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best.